Hey everybody. Okay, so I wanted to do a recap of how everything's been going for me. I know it's been a little while uh, since my last video. Uh, I've been super busy, so I apologize for that. I've been substituting, which has been definitely an experience. I have gotten some mixed, you know, emotions from doing that. I've had some days where it's actually gone really well and then days where it's like I want to go hide under my bed and stay there. But I kind of knew that I was going to be going into this situation and had to expect that sometimes it's going to suck. So dealing with that, at work I've been having some issues with a couple people that are actually pretty discriminatory and I've been dealing with that. I had uh, actually, I had to email my work, my boss, because I felt very much like she took a situation that happened and didn't even ask my side and went right to believing the, the person that was also involved in the same situation who actually decided to go and talk to her about and tell her a bunch of stuff that didn't actually happen. So it was the same person I've actually been having problems with when it comes to uh, her being very inappropriate when it comes to questions that she's asked me. Um, there's problems with her just jumping out in the blue with some question that you know, it's not something that I would bring up in a workplace and she always makes sure that like there's a group of people around to really kind of make it awkward for me, I think. I don't know if she's doing it on purpose or if she's just dumb, <laughs> but I've been kind of trying to figure out how to find a, a balance when it comes to that. Emotionally, I've been having some problems when it comes to having to deal with the fact that I still have a lot of, you know, I still have, I, st I haven't started testosterone yet, so I still have a lot of hormones that make me very emotional sometimes, and I'm learning to deal with, with balancing that, with the fact that I also have some other you know, self-esteem problems where I will sometimes ad try to like adapt to the situation just to make sure that I don't have any problems and I need to work on that and being stronger. Sometimes, some days, you know, it's really hard though, especially when I'm in a place that it, it's not it's not the easiest place. I, f I mean, if you guys look up Idaho, it's not... We don't have a lot of help here. <laughs> Which, I also am kind of glad that I'm here too because there's a lot of change that can happen and I think there's a lot of opportunity for change and I think this place could be a really great place. It's just we're in that stage where things are really you know, it's, it's, you could see a lot of fighting and you could see a lot of people trying to be strong and butting heads. The two, it's, it's, you can definitely see the, here's conservative and, you know, you can see the whole spectrum of political uh, stances here and it's dealing with that as well. Uh, on a positive note though, I uh, got told through email that my I'm going to have a consultation over the phone tomorrow morning with my the um, plastic surgeon that I kind of want to go through. I've heard some really good things about her and she's through the University of Utah which is actually not very far away and I've seen some really great after pictures from work that she's done so we'll see what happens on that I want to get two surgeries done at once and 
my first surgery that is actually more important to me is going to be my stomach surgery. It's based, it's called, and I can't pronounce it right and you're going to laugh at me, but it's, it's like pen, penenolytectomy, can't pronounce it. Basically it's a removal of the panis and when you gain a lot of weight and you lose a lot of weight and you gain a lot of weight and you lose a lot of weight you get a lot of extra skin and some people have it made into their body they're just born you know it's like hereditary because I know plenty of um, people in my family that have this issue too but you get this leftover like chunk of, of fat and skin that just hangs off your stomach and it's one of those things that you have to get cut off you can't work it off it's always going to be there and it's actually caused me a lot of pain and uh, discomfort because I've lost weight on like every other part of my body so I have just this heaviness right now pulling on like my hips and my back and pulling me downwards and it's really frustrating now I want to have that surgery as well and try and maybe get my chest surgery done at the same time I have a lot of skin too on my sides of my chest that I went from basically being almost a double D um, chest size to now I'm like an A or B or whatnot so I have a lot of extra flesh that I need to also get taken off as well as doing the actual surgery so we'll see what she says I've been kinda like thinking about different ways to earn money to save up for my surgeries uh, I've been starting um, to write some children's books and I was thinking I was gonna try and make some ebooks and sell those put that towards the savings account I also had some ideas about making t-shirts uh, one of my friends that I'm part of his Facebook group he and I were talking about going in together and doing that and then I would take like an artist uh, cut from the t-shirt sales and that was a really good idea it's just kind of getting the money to buy the first batch basically also I am going to continue doing the substituting and the working at night and try and throw that money out there you know try and get some savings from that because I know that because you know we don't have insurance that covers these kind of surgeries for us like I have actually lost too much weight for like if I was gonna go and try and have the state insurance pay for the surgery that I need because it's causing me health issues I actually found out that I've lost too much weight to have this surgery because your panis has to be lowered lower than a certain level for the state insurance to pay for it and because I've lost enough weight it's too high so unless I want to gain some more weight which I don't uh, I'm gonna have to come up with it on my own and the same thing with chest surgery you know as transgender people we don't really have a lot of insurances that help and cover that for us so figuring that part out um, I have also been um, having some more positive stuff with my son he's been doing really great he hasn't been angry or brought up any hurt feelings he's it's just been great I actually have always and I've been picking him up after school and I haven't had any issues with his teachers at all which is kind of cool uh, but other than that which is a lot uh, I'm kind of just moving forward and trying to stay positive and work through a lot of those issues and I have a I'm gonna have another lab taken in about two weeks to 
check my thyroid and see how it's doing and see how my cholesterol is doing. I've been working on that and seeing what you know what the results show and then deciding if well, I'm going to start on testosterone then or if I'm going to have to wait. So positive thoughts on that. I am going to be making a video more about my life. I've gotten a lot of emails actually from people wanting to know more about my story and I'm trying to think of the best way to put it together in a video that isn't uh, five hours long. <laughs> so I'm working on that. So I hope you, everybody that emailed me, you know that I am working on it. I have just got to kind of get that together and also it's it brings up a lot of emotions when you think about your past and anyway so dealing with it but besides that I hope everybody is doing great and if you have any other questions if anybody has any questions don't hesitate to you know send me an email I would love it if you would subscribe to my page and help me out on that and Anyways, I uh, look forward to talking with more of you, and uh, I hope everything's going great. Thanks.